Heat transfer fluids are an important component, the lifeblood of a heat transfer system. When the fluids are used within suggested temperature limits in a well-designed and well-maintained system, they should perform effectively for years. To ensure that they do, a sample should be taken and analyzed at least annually on systems that continually operate near maximum temperature limits. Proper monitoring enables you to catch issues before they become problems. It helps protect your equipment and your operations. And in many cases, monitoring samples of your heat transfer fluid conforms to important insurance and fire prevention recommendations. Heat transfer fluids are capable of providing performance at low, medium, and ultra-high temperatures, with some fluids rated for use at temperatures up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit, when new heat transfer fluids are bright and clear. However, when operated in prolonged and demanding conditions, your fluids can experience degradation that results from thermal and possibly oxidative stresses. Look for a heat transfer fluid supplier that provides heat transfer fluid testing and analysis services. Tests should detect fluid contamination, check moisture, evaluate thermal degradation, and look for other problems that can adversely affect system performance. As always, before collecting your sample, be sure to follow proper safety protocol. Handling potentially hot samples requires you to wear the proper personal protection equipment, which can include a protective jacket, a face shield and goggles, and gloves. In the event that the unexpected may occur, determine the location of the nearest safety shower and eye wash station and make sure it is operable. Ensure that there are no obstructions in the work area. Next, look over the sample port to ensure it's properly insulated with no leaks and appears to be in good operating order. Prepare the port by establishing a cooling water flow. A properly installed cooler helps ensure the fluid is collected at a temperature low enough to avoid thermal burns. Then open the valve to start hot fluid flow through the sample cooler. To ensure a representative sample, be sure the fluid is collected from a line containing flowing fluid. Draw off enough fluid into a dry flush pail to thoroughly purge the sample line and to verify that the fluid is being properly cooled through the sample cooler. Then draw about a half a liter, or one pint, into the sample bottle. Some fluid suppliers provide ready-to-use sample collection bottles as part of a kit. Having a clean container is imperative to minimize any external contamination. This is also important for safe collection and shipment of the sample. Once you have your sample, secure the sample port valve. Plug and cap the sample bottle promptly and securely to prevent any loss of volatile components and to avoid any accidental contamination. Place a lid over flush pail and then secure the area. Using a fluid supplier's heat transfer fluid sample collection kit makes shipping your sample for analysis easy. In accordance with local shipping regulations, complete the proper paperwork. Some kits include the paperwork, labels, and return packaging to facilitate the return process. Check with your fluid supplier's lab to verify the tests they will perform and the reporting you will receive. A qualified lab technician should analyze your sample for several important performance factors which may include neutralization number, kinematic viscosity, moisture content, flash point, acetone insoluble solids, and gas chromatography. Additional special analysis may be available upon request. A competent testing lab should provide you the results of these tests in a detailed report that provides suggestions for corrective action. If the test results fall within the acceptable ranges, your fluid is probably in good condition. If one or more of the tests come back with warning or action grade, you'll be better prepared to address a multitude of risks. A qualified lab or technical service specialist may address any questions you have regarding the test results. To summarize, periodically sampling your heat transfer fluid has its benefits, providing you follow the proper steps. Use proper personal protection equipment. Ensure the walkway is unobstructed and safety equipment is operable. Be prepared. Know the sample collection procedure. Inspect the sample port and insulation. Use a dry sample port flush bucket. Collect your representative sample from a well-mixed circulation header. Cool the sample to a temperature of no greater than 140 degrees Fahrenheit to minimize the risk of thermal burns. 
Don't forget to flush the sample port into a bucket to purge the line before collecting your sample. Secure the sample port when finished. Make sure your sample container is promptly and properly sealed. Complete the sample information form and follow proper shipping instructions. Stay focused. Do not take shortcuts and never allow the hot fluid to contact water.